Hey, what's up, Minutemen? Kevin here, and welcome back to Uncharted 4. So, we had just shot our way through a small army with wife Elena kicking ass, just like the good old days, and we are back behind the wheel. Nate's behind the wheel now. Gonna keep carrying on, make our way gradually towards Sam. So, I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? We're wondering that ourselves. There's the elevator. Yeah, I guess we gotta cross these rapids. This car come with life jackets? There goes nothing. Uh, we can't go this way, can we? We gotta go down. Whoa, hang on. Ah, there. I got control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Right. They're on the plane. <laughs> that dam. We can drive through the sluice gate. Yeah, we gotta open it first. Oh, am I on the wrong side? I was probably supposed to go to the other side. This is gonna open up the wrong one. I'm pretty sure this one was blocked by rocks. It's no good. It's blocked. Okay, try the other one. Seen that coming. And behind door number two. Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. I like to try to get into the car from every angle possible, just to see his car entry techniques. Oh, that was a mistake. Damn it. Oh, I was close ish. You need to get more speed. Alright. Here we go. Watch Here this. We go. Hang on. <laughs> we get it. You sound surprised. Maybe a little. God, that elevator's working. Uh, so far we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're two for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working, that bodes well. All right, let's see what we gotta do. Uh, there should be a lever right here somewhere, right? If it's actually working. Hey, give me a hand with this. Mr. Universe, world's strongest man. That a boy. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Here goes nothing. Hey, it's actually working. Awesome. Three for three. You gotta love that pirate engineering. So. Wow. <laughs> Come here often. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views. Stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you change your mind? Huh? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And, you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. That's the name of the chapter. That's why they call it better or worse. It's all right, Nate. If you survive, you guys will work it out. Here. Give me a hand with this. You kids are good together. All right. Okay. 
You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out like that. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... I... You know, I... we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Will there? <sighs> Next stop, New Devon. Well, I can understand why the pirates would want to set up shop here. This is pretty beautiful. I spy. We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. Guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no nose is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. Oh, oh, uh, we were so close. Turn around. Courage too strong. Brace yourself. Nate. Uh, are we actually going over these falls? Nate. Shouldn't we like? We can climb up these rocks. On it. Come on. Go, go, go. I got it. Come on. Hey! Uh, waterfall. <laughs> waterfall. Um, there it is. I'm okay. I'm okay. The tree. The tree is not okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ain't no rest for the weary. Here, quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. A moment too soon. Whew. Huh? So much for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Just keep moving. Yeah. You two just need to kiss and make up. This way. We're putting a damper on the story, which is probably going to already end with somebody dying. Come on. A little upbeat, a little optimism. And at least we're on the right side of the river now. <laughs> somebody needs to make some kind of parody video of Drake where he just comes to the first obstacle in his adventure and there are no Maybe convenient... Well, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Yeah, maybe. You know where I was going. Convenient outcroppings to get him where he needs to be. Just walks up to the first cliff. Well, we're stuck. I'm going home. Oh, I'll buy your lonesome. <laughs> what do we have here? I bade farewell to Eleanor. <laughs> the whole time accent keeps changing. I bade farewell to Eleanor and little Abigail at midnight. They joined the other escapees aboard the swift shore, bound for better shores. I pray I shall be able to join them soon. The founders have taken everything from me, from all of us. What little gold I contributed is now gone, or behind the high walls of New Devon. We shall see soon enough. At dawn we go forth to take back what's rightfully ours. They did not stop us at the treasury, they shall not stop us now. My darling Eleanor, my sweet Abigail, should I perish here, should I fail you, know that I only wished us happiness and prosperity. 
Perhaps you will still have a chance for yourselves. Well, looks like you didn't quite make it, buddy. I am very sorry to say. Whoa. Oh, yikes. Yikes, he's Ooh, right. Judging by the clothes, they're colors. Maybe it was a fight? No, I, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Hello? Traitor. Who is this? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. <laughs> Here's another one. What is this for? Am I supposed to jump and bring this guy down? Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. Well, I guess that's just our way up. Alright, so we made it back to the bridge. Now we just keep going inland. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, I guess that's Ooh, one Devin. way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No. To lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Well, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. I'd say it's pretty safe to say that that was the plan. But what's the point? You're a pirate king, you've got all the money in the world. So you build this place, and then what? Steal all the money and do what exactly? Let's try the front door, I guess, see if anybody's home. That gate's not budging. We need to get up and over. Hodie Makeum, Eris in Paradiso. Today you will join me in paradise. <sighs> Some paradise. <laughs> Interesting that Avery chose Saint Dismas as the penitent thief and not the jerk thief, which it seems like he really was, unless that's all just part of his his cover. Lure people in. We receive the due reward of our deeds. Especially if you cross Avery. It's from the Bible. The penitent thief. Dismas. Avery was a little obsessed with him. Avery doesn't strike me as the penitent type. Well, in his mind, I'm sure he thought he was. <laughs> All right. He goes, no, I just need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Sorry to disturb you, pal. Excuse me. All right. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. A <laughs> real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. One still intact. Oh. Ah. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no. shit! What? What? The front door. It's Sam. He's still alive. And yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. You all right? Yeah. Through here, watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Ouch.
Oh, another old note. Ooh. Founder Condent, I know it was on your orders that my home was ransacked and burnt. Your brother denied your involvement in these deeds, but I know a liar's tongue when I hear it. Now I am one... I am short one sword, as I cannot seem to pry it from his gut. You have until sundown to return what's mine, Founder England. So it looks like the Founders even turned on each other. Alliances only work as long as there's external pressure. <laughs> they probably quashed the rebellion. And then... turned on each other. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Yeah, we kind of gathered that by the note downstairs, and the sword shoved through the dead guy's belly. Well, we're going that way, but it looks like the passage is blocked through the water. So, of course, we have to make our way through the bad guys. Taking back this gun, I like this thing. Someone took him out. Watch yourself. Let's make it click. All right, so they're on alert, but they haven't spotted us yet. Here's hoping Elena borrowed Sam's invisibility cloak. Oh, he spotted me. Oh, somebody's right next to me, aren't they? God, we've still got the hand cannon. Come on, show me your face. Show me your face. Good night. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, there's a guy. Yep. Oh. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh my god, alright, hang on, hang on. I can't I can't stop to appreciate that right now. Oh <laughs> all for nothing. <laughs> that was so perfect too. That was fantastic. What the Alright, well there should only be one or two guys left anyways. Oh Oh no, no no no, there are a lot more. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my god. Come on, Nate. Take some cover, man. There's one down. Ow, ow. Oh, the grenades. They hurt. They hurt so badly. Wait, we got grenades too, don't we? Have a taste of your own. Quick, take cover, take cover, take cover. Oh, man. Oh, we're making progress. We're inching our way forwards here. Got him. Oof. Alright, I think we got the grenade launcher. That ought to calm things down a little bit. Alright, so we are completely out of munitions. <laughs> I think we left our rifle right over here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I guess there were two grenade launchers. Jesus. Is that everybody? That's it. You okay? <laughs> oh my yeah. god. What a firefight. I don't even want to know how many times I just died. Whew. Let's keep going. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look. Hmm. Looks like we're going down to go forwards.
pretty close here. Come on, oh, there you are. Check this place out. Crap. How many people did you bring here, Nadine? She does have an entire army. You think they found the treasure? Well, let's hope not. For Sam's sake. <coughs> Oof. Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. I promised you swift Signed retribution. Baldrige. Did he kill his wife? That's, yeah. <laughs> Morbid is putting it mildly. These guys definitely turned on each they other. Were both founders? Yeah, looks like they were turning on each other, but why? Greed, paranoia, money. Yeah, well, more money, more problems. Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. <laughs> How convenient. Um, I guess we just gotta push it into the water, right? Look out below! Nice one. Get a hold of it. Oh, we probably have to, to rope it in with our grappling hook, don't we? Come. Come to Papa. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? <laughs> no. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Straight down to the front gate. That wasn't too bad. A little shortcut. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. A little hungry. I could eat. Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Come on. Let's keep going. Well, where are we swimming to? We came from there. I guess we head over to the gate. Although I don't know how we're gonna get past that. We probably have to go through this building. Here. really strong here. Come on, let's try cutting through this house. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Well, we're not getting out this way. I guess we got to go up. You think the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But you don't think it's them? I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. <laughs> Avery's. Exactly. And here we are. Yeah, let's just hope we're not too late. Hey, check it out. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Hold up. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... <laughs> it's okay. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. <laughs> as well you should. No better way to patch things up like calling your wife fat. Smell some water. I made it. I'll find a way up for you. Great. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. <laughs> so we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Whoa. Good lord. How many seats are there? Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late.
Hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded Libertalk. What the hell happened here? Avery poisoned them? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So Apparently what was this? Mentioned. Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas, too. What do you bet? Thomas, too? Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. <laughs> okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. It's nice they took the time to stop and appreciate that, but isn't your brother still over there with a gun to his head, potentially dead at any second now? There. Posterity. Let's see how we sketched this up. Honor among thieves. Let's go see whatever became of Mr. Avery and Mr. Hey, Two. Up here. Slowly. And hopefully find our brother less dead Be than careful. those gentlemen. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay. I'm okay. I got oh, it. Of course you are. I'll meet you up top. Nate, that shoreline truck is still there. <laughs> and? Yeah, I see it. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? <laughs> you think it was gonna leave? And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. <laughs> Word of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas, too? Was he, like, his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. 
Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. <laughs> Let's see where they went. Hello. So, where are the Shoreline guys? I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts. You think this is going to get really weird? Look at all the footprints. There's so many footprints down there by the entrance. You can kind of see him coming up the stairs. You can definitely see him here. And then again here. And then one set. And then again over here. It's like one person ran and then kind of scuffled around and then More continued. Footprints. Weird. Elena, check it out. Footprints go through this door. <clears throat> barricade this one too. Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless they found something? All right, help me push this open. Yeah. <clears throat> oh shit! Here we go. We got company. God, is that a minigun? <laughs> no way. Thank God we had that high-powered sniper rifle. That actually could have been dangerous. We gotta take out that other sniper. Two snipers. We got two shots left. Running interference. Oh God, oh God. Oh boy, alright. We got some company. Oh my god, this is not gonna end well. Oh, whew. This is gonna be a tough fight. Alright, so Mr. Minigun is already down. We just gotta worry about the snipers. Where's the other sniper? Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Not over yet. More coming. So many people. Oh my god. Oh, over there. Jeez, I was wondering where I was getting hit from on this side. Oh my god, there's nowhere to hide. I guess we just gotta keep running? But even, they still hit us. Oh man, this is a tough one. Alright. That guy had to go, but there's still a guy with a grenade launcher somewhere around here. I think I see him. Maybe we can go up after him? Is that our boy? Oh, it's a sniper right there. That would actually be very helpful. We could take his ammo. Excuse me, I need this area. Alright, so did we grab more ammo? Okay, we got eight more rounds in the sniper now. That ought to do some damage. I see you, I see you. Yeah, yeah, alright. Hold your horses, gentlemen. Close. I think there's only two guys left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Nate. Move it, move it. There he is. Jesus. You all right? Yeah. They were just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. 
See what they didn't want us to find. Let's just round up a bit more ammo before we do that. Sweep is a 44. All right, those will do. <laughs> is that the minigun? It's only got 55 shots left in it. I'm not gonna take it with us. Let's just fire off a round. Oh yeah. I would just fire off all of them in a fit of rage, but you never know if we're gonna go through the door and there's gonna be some mutant ghost pirate version of Rafe. And we need to come back out here and grab the minigun. All right. Okay, here we go. You ready? Let's crack this thing open. What is it? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly, destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Interesting. So do you think the treasure's even here? Or it was just loaded onto the ship and away it goes? Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. <laughs> Let's look around. Got to be a secret passage in here somewhere. <clears throat> All right. So do we have to poke, prod, pull, sit on? I guess the fireplace would be too cliche. What's this? It's Sam's lighter. Ooh. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. <laughs> There's got to be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe it's under the floor? Oh, wait, 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 what's this? Maybe this is a switch. No. <laughs> now we get to walk around in a circle and touch everything in the room. I wonder bust if... of himself. Uh, no. Nope. This could be. But it isn't. Nothing. Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I... pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on the island? I think... Uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate. Hit, watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh, looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Yeah. Chapter 19, Avery's Descent. And that's probably a good place to wrap up this one, guys. So, we're getting close to the end. I didn't want to spoil it, but I've got a friend who did finish the game, and they said that there are 22 chapters. So we are starting chapter 19, we are getting pretty close. Um, so I can't stop now. I'm going to keep on going. Um, if you guys decide to press on, then I'll see you momentarily. If not, then thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. And as always, at ease, Minutemen.